Franklin and Otter's Visit Hi, my name is Werner. I've been reading hundreds of books for you. Please subscribe to see them all. And watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Mom can help you there. Thank you. Franklin had lots of good friends and a best friend named Bear. He also had a friend named Otter, who had moved away. Franklin and Otter sent each other birthday cards and photographs, but they hadn't seen one another for a long time. Then, one day, a very special letter arrived for Franklin. Otter was coming to visit. Franklin hurried to Bear's house with his news. Guess what? he exclaimed. Otter's coming to stay with her grandma this weekend. Hooray! said Bear. Remember the old days when we used to slip and slide down the river bank? Franklin asked. Gee, Franklin, replied Bear. Nobody does that anymore. Well, I bet Otter will want to, said Franklin. On his way home, Franklin stopped by the pond. He told Beaver about Otter's visit. Remember all the swimming races we used to have? Franklin asked. I bet Otter can't wait to race us again. Otter is captain of a swim team now, replied Beaver. She won't want to race us slow pokes. Yes, she will, Franklin insisted. Beaver rolled her eyes. When he got home, Franklin went to his room. He searched and searched through his toy box, under his dresser and in his closet. Then he called his mother. Where are my blocks? he asked. You gave them to Harriet, she answered. You said you didn't need them anymore. Well, now I want them back, said Franklin. Otter and I always played with those blocks. He marched off to Harriet's bedroom. Finally, the big day arrived. Otter was coming for lunch. Franklin sat on the front steps all morning. When is she going to get here? He said over and over. I can't wait. And suddenly, there was Otter walking through the gate. Franklin and his family gave Otter a big hug and a big welcome. His parents asked her lots of questions about her new home. Franklin got out the food. We made happy face sandwiches just for you, he said. I thought those were for Harriet, said Otter. They are your favorite, Franklin reminded her. Otter laughed. That was ages ago. She took a sandwich from the grown-up plate. Franklin frowned. After lunch, Franklin suggested they play with his blocks. Remember all the castles we used to build? he asked. Otter nodded and followed Franklin to his bedroom. Harriet was already there. She had all the blocks in her lap. Mine, she said. I guess blocks are for babies, said Otter. I guess, Franklin mumbled. Franklin and Otter went outside to play. Do you still go to the pond? asked Otter. Of course I do, said Franklin. Let's go. Everyone will be there. 
Franklin was right. They got to the pond and the whole gang was excited to see Otter. Beaver wanted to know how many swimming medals Otter had won. Franklin suggested they have a race. Oh, Franklin, said Beaver, Otter's too good a swimmer for us. But Franklin was already in the pond. Otter jumped in beside him. Ready, set, go, cried Bear. Otter was across the pond before Franklin had swum three strokes. Told you so, said Beaver. Everybody laughed, even Franklin. Franklin climbed out of the pond. Let's play baseball, he suggested. I haven't played baseball since I moved, said Otter. I won't be any good. Sure enough, Otter struck out on all her turns at bed, and she didn't catch a single ball heading her way. I don't want to play anymore, said Otter. Franklin looked at Otter and sighed. Just then, Otter's grandma came to get her. Will you play with me tomorrow, Franklin? Otter asked. I guess so, replied Franklin. Otter left, and Franklin walked home alone. Hmm, he muttered. We sure didn't play much today. Franklin stomped into his house. Otter's no fun anymore, he announced. He told his mother about his afternoon. His mother gave him a hug. You have both grown up a bit, she told him. You have both changed. Does that mean we can't be friends anymore? Franklin asked. Maybe, replied his mother. Or maybe you can find a new way to stay friends. Hmm said Franklin. The next morning, Franklin called on Otter bright and early. If you still lived in Woodland, Franklin told her, you'd be a really good baseball player by now. Then he added, I'm going to teach you, so every time you visit, you can play on my team. Okay, agreed Otter, and I'm going to teach you to be a faster swimmer. That way, every time I visit, you can race me. The two friends smiled at each other. Franklin and Otter spent the day racing in the pond and hitting balls out of the park. Today was fun, said Franklin. And it was fun yesterday, remembering all the things we used to do together, Otter said. It was? asked Franklin. Otter nodded. But I remember something I guess you have forgotten, she said. Otter grabbed Franklin's hand and pulled him up to the top of the hill. And together... The two friends went slipping and sliding down the river bank and into the water. Franklin laughed. It was just like the old days. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. 
Thank you so much.